Hey everyone, welcome to another full OLO made easy video. Today we'll be going through the first half of the dot cases. So in total there are eight different dot cases for OLO. We'll be going through the first four of them in this video. If you don't know what a dot case is, you can kind of think of it as your OLO with no edges oriented. It's called a dot case because most of the cases will only have a yellow center. However, some of them may have a few corners oriented as well. Okay, so starting with the first dot case, we have this one here. Fairly straightforward to recognize. Single yellow center oriented, no edges or corners oriented on the top layer. We do have these two three by one bars on the left and right side. So this is how you want to hold this case. The algorithm, fairly straightforward, especially if you break it down into individual parts. So it starts off with an RU2. So you can kind of think of it as taking this F12 pair out, putting it across from where it lives, like this. Following that, R prime into a sledgehammer. So you can kind of think of it as an R2 into a sledgehammer, if you like. After that, move the F12 pair all the way back around to the front and insert it with another sledgehammer. And that solves that OLO case. The next dot case we have is this one here. Once again, recognized by the yellow dot on the top layer, three by one bar on the left side, and these two two by one bars on the front and back. So this is exactly how you want to hold this case. Once again, the algorithm, not too difficult as well. So it starts off with an F, sexy F prime. That sets up this P-shaped OLO case, which you can solve using wide F, sexy, wide F prime. Alternatively, you can do something fancy as well. So you can start off with an F, sexy. And here, instead of doing the F prime followed by a wide F, you can do an S layer move like this, and then do another sexy followed by the wide F prime. That solves that case as well. Alright, so the next two dot cases are these ones here. So with these dot cases, they are also mirror images of each other. So we'll start with this one here. So it's recognized with one corner oriented. Also, we have three two by one bars on the side here. So the important thing to note is where the single edge color on the side is. So in this case, we have the single edge color on the front the yellow corner on the front right side. From this angle, an algorithm to solve it, once again, quite straightforward as well, starts off with a wide F move, sexy, wide F prime. That gets you this T-shaped OLO case, which I'm sure all of you should know how to solve by now. This is just F sexy F prime. So with the previous algorithm, it is quite easy to remember, which is why I like to mention it, but the finger tricks are not very nice and we do have to regrip halfway through the algorithm. So now I'll show a bit of a more advanced algorithm for the same case here, but with this algorithm, the finger tricks are a lot nicer. So for this algorithm, we actually want to hold it so that the corner is on the front here and so that the single edge is facing the left side. From here, we want to start off with an R prime, so wide R prime that is, followed by R2, U, R prime, U. Following that, it's wide R, U2, wide R prime. Following that, it's U followed by M prime. And the final dot case I'll go through in this video is this one here. So for this case, we're holding it currently with the yellow corner at the back and then the single yellow edge on the side here that's facing the back as well. So with this case, the easy to remember algorithm will go something like this. So it starts off with a wide F, sexy wide F prime that gets you this T shape here. Uh, once again, just solve this T-shaped OLO, so that's F6 CF prime, and that is the OLO algorithm. So once again, I'll show an alternative algorithm for this case as well with the better finger tricks. 
So for this case, with the alternative algorithm, we want to hold it so that the front corner is on the front, and we also have the single yellow edge facing the right side this time. So the algorithm starts off with our M move, which I like to do like this, followed by a U prime. Following that, wide R, U2, wide R prime. Finally, it's U prime R, U prime R2, and then wide R. All right, guys, so that's it for all the dot cases for this video. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll be going through the remaining four dot cases in that video. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.